Just over half of all of the waste generated in our region is recycled, but we can do a lot better. As part of the new solid waste strategy, Metro Vancouver wants to increase that 52% to 70% by targeting specific items. First on the list is wood waste, which comprises over a quarter of all the material in landfills. That's 350,000 tons of wood waste per year. Up next, we look at efforts to turn this debris into dollars. The construction industry in Vancouver is booming right now, and that's good news for the economy, but it's very bad news for the environment. Construction waste in general, and wood waste in particular, is filling up our landfills. The organic materials going to landfills, including wood materials, we like to, uh, to target. But when we put organic material into landfills, it decomposes. In, uh, without access to air and what happens is uh, methane gas gets generated and methane gas is tw it's 21 times as potent as a greenhouse gas than, than carbon dioxide. In 2006 the Metro Vancouver Board adopted the Zero Waste Challenge. The, uh, the region currently has a recycling rate of 52 percent. An average is less than, than, than 30 percent. So we already recycle a lot in, in Metro Vancouver. But we're looking at going even beyond that. We're, we're targeting 60 or 70 percent. The Mount Pleasant Civic Centre in Vancouver is a project being built using green construction methods. And that includes recycling any waste that's produced. This project is a, uh, a combination of uh, residential um, suites, uh, rental suites, and a civic centre. And um, it's a lead gold project which means it's a environmentally friendly building. It's absolutely a waste of material to, uh, to not recycle uh, what comes off of a construction site, um, especially given the volume. The types of waste we generate on a construction site are um, wood waste, metal aggregates, which are brick and soil and, uh, and rock, uh, drywall, just about every material you can, uh, you can think of. Most of it goes to landfill uh, and other projects uh, that aren't uh, lead uh, projects. However, uh, the city is now um, mandating uh, increased levels of recycling and diversion from landfills to about 70 percent from currently around 51 percent. So that will mean that the construction industry will have to adapt. Vanbot's construction pays a premium to have bins of unsorted waste taken to a recycling facility. It's operated by Urban Recyclers, a company turning construction waste into money. We have uh, two processing plants in Metro Vancouver. Uh, we process approximately 200,000 tons of construction waste a year, a thousand uh, roll-off containers a week between our two plants. Uh, we recycle 80% of that per week, so that would be 800 of those uh, containers, if they were all the same weight, that we save from going to landfill each and every week. Generally, most of the bins that we get in are, are what we call co-mingled. So they have wood and they have different construction waste from plastic to metals, these sorts of things in them. Uh, right away, we start uh, sorting that stuff out. Then what happens is it goes across a picking line where we have anywhere between seven and nine pickers uh, scrutinizing what's going through. I like to call these, these guys that work on the line the unsung heroes of the uh, recycling world because it's very labor intensive, it's very dirty work and uh, they work very, very hard uh, and don't get a lot of credit for what they do but uh, they're, they're really making a difference in, in our environment. Uh, they pull off all the recyclables that they can which will be metals, copper wires, things of this nature. The wood that's left goes through what's called a hog mill, where it's ground down to a specific size, depending on what it's going to be used for.
There's no sense that uh, this product should be going to landfill. There's economic opportunities to, to do something this waste. It's an exciting new area that we're very, very uh, glad to be part of because uh, not only are you having an impact on on your region and, and uh, the lifestyles of people in Vancouver, but you can actually make a living doing it. As our disposal costs increase, the costs for recycling should be lowered. It should be a, an economic incentive, that lower cost for, for recycling. should help drive this in the right direction. We're leading the way in recycling. Uh, we've been doing this for years. There, there's endless possibilities. Uh, uh, and, and there's a real bright future. Uh, we are making a difference, and uh, everybody can make a difference if they come on board.